second and long. Here's Lawrence. He'll find Jones again, complete. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Lawrence steps away. The left side completion to Jones. Jags first down as they get five there on third and two. Third and short, and they decided not to run for it, and he's able to escape the pressure, finds a clear throwing lane outside the pocket, gets the completion, and picks up the first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. On first down, Lawrence out to his left. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Here's second and five now from the 22. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll run with ETN. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Patterson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we now go down stick. Well, no sooner did the teams get to the locker rooms, and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. First target, first catch at a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That's why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense over committing Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. Throwing Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Shepard. And they've got this down to about... the 12-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back to throw again. Completes this again to Shepard. They'll give him four yards there. 
And that's going to bring up second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, his pass caught at the four. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Giants! Daniel Bellinger from three yards out. And the Giants are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Gano the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now on second and 16, Lawrence looking downfield for Jones. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big pickup of 38. Back now in Jacksonville. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Steps away to his... Oh, no, he lost the football. When that ball popped free. We could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are right back in this football game. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's got Rome, the 20. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, 62 yards. And the Giants use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. 
The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Throwing on first down, Jones. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as the clock stops. With 23 seconds to go in the game. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.